throw this dramatic thing. Okay, apparently I'm the only one asking questions here. See, I can't explain it though because it's a secret. I'm not telling you. Well, this is kind of the issue. Oh! Oh, that's very sweet. Thank, Thank you. you. <laughs> You're welcome. You're welcome. So, Trevor, are you in love with me? How long is your anger? Are you in last? love with me? Just huh? it's it's like a yes or no fucking question. Are you in love with me? Hi everybody! Hi Envy's channel! Hey YouTube! Today, I've invited a very special guest here. Trevor, Modest Cube. That's me. I feel like maybe viewers of Envy don't know the relationship I've had with Trevor, but my chat definitely does. Trevor rejected me last year and cut me off for a few months. What? And then Trevor hair dyes moving to US and he's like, she's gonna murder me. And he was like, hey, sorry for blocking you. I and breaking your heart. And I was like, you know what? All's well that ends well. Is Bruh. that the lesson? All's well All's... end well? Today, we're gonna just see. Maybe there's a spark still there. We never know, right, Trevor? You, you Sometimes you dig through the little poop and dirt and you'll find a little gold nugget, right? That's already... Right at the bottom. What we're doing today, it's 36 questions to fall in love. Anyway, let's get started on the questions. Okay. Given the choice of anyone in the world, who would you want as a dinner guest? Maybe Peter Jackson. We could talk about like Lord of the Rings or something because I'm a Who's huge... Who's Peter Jackson? He's a director and I love movies. Would you like to be famous? If so, what way would you like to be famous? No, I don't think I'd like to be famous. I think I would just like to be financially stable and rich. So you're a gold digger. I mean, Not you're richer than me, right? Definitely. Oh, yes. But who knows how Poor long boy. you're going to hold on to that money. You know, you could just throw it willy-nilly. You're going to invest. Do you have savings? Of course I don't. I'm Irish. Okay, so I'm not really a gold digger because if I were to marry into this, into this... Don't point at my body when you say into this. You could spend all that money and I could be poor with you. Okay, next question. Before making a telephone call, do you ever rehearse what you are going to say? Yes. Why? I anxiety. What would con constitute a perfect day for you? I think just no conflicts, just having a nice... No someone. conflict? Just like, you know, nothing- What's wrong with conflict? Nothing to increase the blood pressure, nothing to like, age your brain. What's wrong with conflict? Confrontation's scary. <laughs> <laughs> when did you last sing to yourself or to someone else? Like two days ago. Oh, was it to yourself or someone else? I mean, it was into my microphone, which is to myself, but it was for someone. See, I can't explain it though, because it's a secret. Who? For who? I'm not telling you. Well, this is kind of the issue- Oh! Oh my god, I'm blind! What the hell? <laughs> if you were able to live to the age of 19 and retain either the mind or Did body- you say 19 or 10? 90. 90. And retain either the mind or a body of a 30-year-old for the last 60 years of your life, which would you want? Mind. Um, do you have a secret hunch about how you will die? You know, it's probably going to be health related. I never go to the doctor. It's Name three things you and your partner appear to have in common. Uh, we're both crazy. Uh, we both like alcohol. Similar humor. What was the question? For what in your life do you feel most grateful? I feel most grateful for all the friends I have, just the people I'm around, the experiences I've had, even being in this position right now, how very grateful I am. If you could change anything about the way you were raised, what would it be? You go first. If my parents knew what mental illness was. What about you? I'd like my mother not to be a psychopath. I love you, mom. You're literally my best friend, you know that. Take four minutes and tell your partner your life story in as much detail as possible. So I was born, right? And I was just, it was so crazy. I never knew what was happening. And I was just middle school and I was moving like every year of my life. And like, I, I, I would make friends, but I'd lose them. And then finally, like in high school, I like, I got to stay in the same high school, but I still moved in like houses every year. And then like, I just, I would always feel this really deep, deep just uh, feeling of just, crisis and it was anxiety but i didn't know what anxiety was not until i started working for this really epic youtube company and i was working for this youtube company it was really awesome and epic and gave me so much anxiety and then i quit and then because it gave me so much anxiety and stuff and then you know i uh worked for a different company and it was really cool and then uh i i quit because uh who knows what's happening in my life and i'm taking medication now and i'm no longer as anxious and I know what's wrong with me and I'm working on it and I feel like a better person now. That was a lot to take in. Yeah. Okay, my turn. I'm Irish. I grew up in Ireland. I was born. You already talked to I so was slow. not born. I died, but I was revived. It was from epilepsy. I died in a car crash. They brought me back. That was grand. Broke my arm a few times. I went to college for a few years, got my degree in special needs assisting. Then you go to your twenties and 
I hit a pot of gold where I had, I'm Irish and I'm loud and someone said, yeah, let's give her a few million followers. Mm. Now I'm here. You, you know didn't really get into like your trauma though. Like you, it, your trauma was kind of like this in your story, you know? Mine was like this and I'm just trying to be real. <laughs> okay. If you could wake up tomorrow, having gained any one quality or ability, what would it be? Lack of anxiety. Notice how there's a trend going on with these questions. Are you prepared to handle my anxiety? If I gained a quality or ability, it would be to be able to twerk. A lack of ass, It's it doesn't matter. It's I can kind of, I, I can kind of twerk though. I've been learning. Can we see? Of course. This is set two of the questions, okay? I forgot to answer the first set and that's why we haven't fallen in love yet. So, is there something that you've dreamed of doing for a long time? Why haven't you done it? I want to do like a road trip with someone and I just, I don't have that special someone yet. I haven't made enough money yet. That's <laughs> so vain. Really cool though, really cool answer. What is the greatest accomplishment of your life? You know, just breaking out of my shell and just really going for what I want to do. Because when you're born with anxiety, you kind of want to just be in a, in a shell. And I was like, <sighs> broke that shell open and it poof, came right out. Mine was being able to afford to treat my parents and my sister to LA all-inclusive trip for two weeks. What do you value most in friendship? Man, that's that's like a tough question. Honesty. Oh my God. Yeah, I think honesty. <laughs> Why are you looking at me? Really? What? You value honesty in friendship? Yeah, you're, you're pretty honest. Oh, I know, I'm honest. Next question. What is your most treasured memory? It's becoming friends with my friend Meeks. <laughs> <laughs> See my little kitties for the first time. What is your most terrible memory? I feel like it has to be blocked out by trauma, right? Yeah. I can't see that on stream. I think I know what it is, but I just can't say it, guys. Yeah, same. It's just, it's gonna ruin the vibe. So let's say a terrible memory that's fun. Like, Fun. that was like, just embarrassing in a group. If you knew in one year you would die suddenly, would you change anything about the way you're now living? Why? I think I would just travel more. I think I'd try to hurry up the speed. I mean, it would make suffering so much more acceptable. Like if I knew I was dying in a year, I wouldn't like to like, even if I'd have the most fun, it'd make me want to live more and it'd make me sadder. Yeah, but I'm like, already, if I'm already at the point where I'm like, eh, okay, I die. What, you're what? not going to feel sad after you die though. Like you live a fun life, you die, whoosh, blank, blackness, nothing. You're gone. You don't yeah, even exist. Yeah, but it's different when you're in the mindset that you know you're going to die. Uh, what does friendship mean to you? <laughs> Loyalty and honesty. I say everything. Okay. Which you probably don't believe. <laughs> what roles do love and affection play in your life? Oh my God, massive. Massive? Friendship means a lot to me. A lot, okay. a lot. Okay. okay. And if anyone breaks my friendship, I won't do anything, but I'll be spiteful for years, where over those years I'll do at least one thing accidentally. That's fair. But it's not revenge, it's not called revenge, and it's not called negative attitude because it happens over a course of time. How close and warm is your family? Do you feel your childhood was happier than most others? <laughs> you know what? We were broke as We couldn't afford And we were struggling and like losing mm. our house, but we were the happiest, most fun family ever. That was in the military. I get to see my dad maybe what? Two hours a day, maybe, you know, sometimes I won't see him for an entire year because he'd be deployed. He'd be moving every year. Hey, but we're making it up now. I've been I've been talking and visiting my family a lot more. Make three true we statements each. For instance, we are both in this room feeling, and then we say it at the same time. I'm looking at the air, Ed. What the hell? We are excited for... The future. Future. Together. Matched. Oh, I didn't add that part. We are tired of past weight gain. Weight gain. See, that's I have the opposite problem now. We are bored of. We're bored of just having a boring time. But we're we're, I'm bored of not thinking of my answers true before I ask a question. Okay, we are both in this room feeling optimistic about our relationship. You have to count down. I didn't realize you were literally reading. 
the example. He has to throw this dramatic thing. Okay, apparently I'm the only one asking questions here. No. Complete this sentence. I wish I'll go first. I wish I had someone with whom I could share a connection with. I wish I had someone with whom I could share non-laziness with. You Your lazy? turn. I wish I had someone with whom I could share life experiences with. I want to travel with this person. I want to try new foods, new places. I want to try new experiences. I want to I want to go deep into human emotions with this person and, and just figure things out in life. If you were going to become a close friend with your partner, please share what would be important for him or her to know. Very anxious and I just... Holy shit. I, I think like whoever meets you first off will just know that. <laughs> What'd you just say to me? I think I'll say it again. I think anyone that first meets you will just definitely know that. I don't think this is something you're going to struggle with like once you get into a relationship, Trevor. So I think like maybe let's think of like you're dating this person and not meeting them for the first All time. Right, I, I have intense uh, body um, image issues. Tell your partner what you like about them. Be very honest this time. Saying things that you might not say to someone you've just met. We haven't just met, first of all. I like how open you are, how honest you are, up to the point you are. Um, you're very fun, you're funny, and I have a great time uh, being around you. Oh, that's very sweet. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> you're welcome, you're welcome. You know what? I like that you're literally one of the people that can just make and laugh, even even when you're not, when you're dumb, blackout, even when you're annoying. You're <laughs> one of the only people that can make me actually properly laugh. And I, just, I mean, I cringe at that stuff. I'm glad it makes you makes you laugh. Share with your partner an embarrassing moment in your life. I don't really have one. I feel like I have so many that just cancels out. I can't think of one that. Oh no! When I was found in hide and seek, and I pissed myself. So, what's your most embarrassing memory? Recently, probably one of the times I blacked out with you. Really? When did you last cry in front of another person? Today. Mine was three weeks ago. What if yeah. anything yeah. is too serious to be joked about? I don't think anything. I I will joke about anything, but I will also like my cat. That's Just fair. If you were to die this evening with no opportunity to communicate with anyone, what would you most regret not having told someone? Why haven't you told them yet? I would just want to tell all my friends genuinely, like, you know, just how much I care about them. Sometimes I just, I, I have a hard time opening up. Honestly, similar thing. I'd be like, hey, just want to tell everybody that I actually do like them. Yeah. Right. Your house containing everything you own catches fire after saying your loved ones and pets. After saving your loved ones and pets, you have time to safely make a final dash to save any one item. What would it be and why? I have one backpack that contains everything important in my life. From all my documents to like mail to like whatever. I would save that backpack because it would save me so much trouble. I do not want to go to the DMV to say, hey, my house burned down. I need a new ID. So that's why I have a special backpack with fireproof like coating so I can just run in there, take that bad boy and like the rest of the stuff and like if i lose this backpack it's who knows what i'd do i would save my stizzy come on i'm not prepared like you all my backpacks are just like everything's all over the place where's like where's your birth certificate i'm probably missing where's your who social keeps their birth card? certificate share a personal problem and ask your partner's advice on how he or she might handle it then ask your partner to reflect back to you how you seem to be feeling about the problem you have chosen i'm scared of confrontation too much of a people pleaser that's your problem? I can't handle conflict. I get too much anxiety, I shut down as a person. Mm -hmm. So what do you think about that? How do I fix that? I therapy? think... Therapy doesn't always help help everybody. This issue with your people-pleasing thing uh -huh. is I understand. I get that too. You want to people-please. You don't want anxiety. You don't want to upset people. But maybe if you sit back and look at it in an outsider's perspective where you're people-pleasing everybody, but sometimes that can cause mishaps along the way conflict. conflict miscommunication where if you're pleasing everybody things get twisted and other people get hurt so why or do you if think you just you're like, trying to help yeah you're really not my personal problem is wait is a personal problem like an issue having right now like an appointment or like a me issue uh probably i get angry really easily and then i'm mm. fine and i just expect everyone to be like to, oh, to like just take the, the brunt of that like emotional impact and, and kind of wave it away by just giving you tequila 
uh, no, I'm joking. I don't actually have anger issues. My personal problem. I don't have one. I'm perfect. Okay, maybe that's your personal problem, not thinking you have one. You know what? That was actually the end of all the questions. So now I guess we're going to uh, see. So, Trevor, are you in love with me? How long is your anger? Are gonna you in last? love with me? Just How? it's it's like a yes or no question. Are you in love with me? I don't know why are you you're taking so long on this one question when you have two answers. It's not like you have to write a paragraph Whoa. or an essay. Did you notice your room looks like Halloween spirit? That's crazy. I know it does because it's my room. Oh, yeah, I'll answer. Um, Well, how long do you see like your anger problem being an issue for? Like would I see it up until like our 30s? How long do you see your nastiness? <laughs> I'll grow up eventually, just like you, and then we'll be perfect for each other. Why do you have to belittle me in everything you say? That's, how's that belittling? The outcome of this was that, um... Now we're best friends. Best friends, and it doesn't work, and I'm, I mean, look, I'm sure I'm gonna test this on a bunch of guys and gals. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and everything else, and comment below on who you want next for me to go on a... It's Valentine's. It's like a whole... You're later that's Yeah, gonna and that was the point. Stop screaming my god. No, it's gonna, no, no, no. It was for Valentine's, so I would get Valentine's. And you messed it up. How did I mess so it up? So now they're gonna turn it into Maybe a you mess it up. Thanks for watching, guys. Like I said, comment the next person's name. Happy Valentine's Day. Shot and butter. Hopefully you're luckier than us.